What's going on guys? And on this week's educational vlog, we are gonna talk about the utility grid for Section 8 and other program-based tenants. Now, it varies depending on the program, obviously. Hey, oh, hey, I owe you. Uh, other program tenants, but you know, this particular one is for CDC. So obviously we know people don't understand the way the Section 8 program works. They don't understand how much money they're getting paid, how the design of the house, the utilities, the way they set them up can either make them more or less money. So we're gonna go through that with you guys today so you understand exactly how the FMR or the allowable rent for a studio through five bedroom house works compared to the utilities that you set up in that particular house and ultimately what you as the landlord nets. First and most important, Always, always, always try to, if you don't have already, sub-meter the property, meaning put all, it's better for you to take less money and have the tenants pay all their own utilities, because this way they're not gonna crank up the heat, they're not gonna let the water run, they're not gonna do things like that, and ultimately waste your money. So obviously, as we've known, we've discussed in previous videos, if you haven't, here's the link for the last video. FMR or Section 8, the government HUD sets the rent. So for a one bedroom, let's say, we're going through in this particular example, in Long Island, New York, it's $16.95 is what HUD pays for a one bedroom. Now, from that, you have to subtract your utilities. And the utilities that you subtract to get your net number depends obviously on the types of utilities that you have. And that's why it's very important to understand the grid. Put the grid right here. This way you guys get a snapshot and you understand exactly kind of how the grid lays out. And what you do is you reach out to the different programs and you ask them, Please send me your sheet for FMR. You can also find FMR on the HUD website. Here's the link right here. Shows you throughout the entire country what the fair market rent is for your county throughout the entire country. Then the program will send you the utility sheet which tells you exactly what they're gonna deduct from the particular apartment size. So the way they lay it out is they have heating, they have cooking, they have elect other electric, which is just lights in the area, basically. Lights in the hallways, lights in the bathrooms, et cetera. Where the hot water heat comes from, and then water. Obviously, if you as the landlord were paying all these things, let's say it was a multifamily building and you're paying all the utilities, you're gonna get the $16.95 on that one bedroom apartment that goes all directly to you and you pay the utilities. Really bad idea. If you have to do it at the beginning, do it, but in general, it's a terrible idea. You wanna try and submeter as soon as you possibly can. It will pay dividends, I promise you. Now, there's different options for each. There's gas heating, gas cooking, bottle gas, electric, and oil. And what I did here was I just wrote in some of the numbers so you guys start to understand. So what you do is you would start with this 1695 number and let's say you had gas heat. You would need to subtract $84 for the gas heat. Electric though, if you notice, is only $40. So you as the landlord are gonna be netting more money if you have electric if you have an electric heat pump system in the house. So what you have to do is, and these change every year, you have to kind of play with how you're building the house versus how much you're gonna get as a net number to you. So cooking, if it's gas, you're gonna deduct $3. But if it's electric, you're gonna deduct $10. You know, other electric is across the board the same. Hot water, if you get hot water from gas, you're gonna deduct $20, an additional $20 from the 1695. If you have electric, you're gonna deduct $31. If it's oil, you're gonna deduct $25. Water is $25 across the board. If you're in a multifamily, you wouldn't deduct the $25 because you, as the landlord, have no other way. You can't sub me to the water, so you're gonna be paying the $25. So the point that I'm making here is, it's extremely important to understand FMR. It's extremely important to reach out to the different programs before you consider renting to one of the tenants and get a copy of the utility grid so you understand exactly how this works. Then when you purchase a property that's gonna get a significant renovation that requires a change in the heating system, a change in the hot water system, a change in you know the cooking, the stove, you can do electric or gas, you can then build the house to maximize your ROI and maximize your monthly net based on this utility grid. Obviously, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to the text platform, there's the number right there. It's free. People hit me up about this stuff all the time and they're making more money and getting into more deals. We'll see you on next week's educational vlog.